816, Democrats won both Georgia Senate seats and with them control of the U.S. Senate. John Ossoff will be the state's first Jewish senator and at 33, the Senate's youngest member. Raphael Warnock will be the state's first black senator. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. Ashley, good morning. Good morning, Jennifer and, Jennifer and Bruce. And while Ossoff and Warnock's victories were undoubtedly overshadowed by what happened at the United States Capitol yesterday, we are getting reaction coming in from locals and lawmakers about this historic event. News for Jax was in Southeast Georgia on Election Day. And when we spoke to this man, he predicted a historic win. It's insisted we being made today. Uh, finally, Georgia's going to be a blue state after 30 years. And uh, this, this uh, state could use a little help. It's now official after John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock defeated incumbent Senators Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue. President-elect Joe Biden, whose own victory was just certified, tweeted his reaction saying, quote, I called Reverend Warnock and John Ossoff this morning to congratulate them on their hard-fought campaigns. Georgia voters delivered a resounding message yesterday. They want action on the crisis we face, and they want it right now. Together, we'll get it done. While Georgia is marking historic wins, the victories were overshadowed by the chaos in Washington. Ossoff tweeted harsh words for President Donald Trump and the GOP, saying, quote, Today's insurrectionist attack on the U.S. Capitol was incited by Trump's poisonous lies and flagrant assault on our Constitution. The GOP must discard and disavow Trump once and for all and its attacks on the electoral process and commit fully to the peaceful transfer of power. Raphael Warnock also took to Twitter. In this moment of unrest, violence, and anger, we must remember the words of Dr. King. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Let each of us try to be a light to see our country out of this dark moment. The Senate runoffs drew 4.5 million people to the polls, and the AP votecast found that 6 in 10 Georgia voters say Senate party control was the most important factor in their vote. And David Perdue's term ended this past Sunday. Kelly Leffler, on the other hand, will remain a senator until the results of Tuesday's election are formally finalized. The Secretary of State's deadline to do that is on the 22nd. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.